everyone, you gonna say hello? Hello. So today we are making super easy chocolate berry cake Easter egg nests. Now normally when I bake, I tend to go for slightly health options, yeah. low sugar, wholemeal yeah. flour, yeah. Uh, coconut oil, that whole jazz. But yeah. Easter is all about chocolate. Yes, yeah, all about chocolate and having a little bit of fun. So and today, having a chocolate eggs. Yes, having chocolate. So this recipe is super easy and indulgent and great for kids to get involved and hey. can i show them uh yes you stuff? can show your stuff so um we have two packets of eggs probably ten in each. that's for decorating you're for decorating and then we have some what's it called well just chocolate spread any kind of chocolate no, spread no nutella oh. nutella. <laughs> nutella and then we have some uh, Flakes. Flakes. Which we'll use for the nest. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chickens. Yeah. So the first thing you gotta do is obviously have a bowl. You take 85 grams of sugar. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. pour that in? Yeah. Okay. And then 110 grams of melted butter. There we are. Yeah. And are you going to stir for me? Yeah, okay. with my I magic need, spoon, look. I need magic. You to, yes. Oops. <laughs> nice, so really, really mix it all in. Yeah. Okay? Next step is to break two free-range eggs into the bowl. The great thing about this recipe is you can pretty much just chuck everything in. It doesn't have to be particularly done in a great order because berry cakes are really easy to make and you can't really go wrong. So, uh, yeah, that's perfect. So now, let Mummy break the two eggs in. I'm going to pass you the next one. Okay. Go. I do this one? Yeah, you can try. There's a little bit of a Yeah, thing. you can try. Okay, let mommy do it. Let mommy do it and we break it together. Okay, one, two, three. Good boy. There we go. Oh. Now we're going to fold um, the flour. It. It's 110 grams of self-raising flour. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna mix it up and we can put the 25 grams of cocoa, which is what's gonna make it have that chocolatey taste. Taste. And now we're gonna put two teaspoons of milk. Milk. In there. It doesn't have to you, be I think you put a little extra in. Well it doesn't have to be exact exact. No, it doesn't. So once you've mixed all those ingredients together, which should be really simple, just get yourself a baking tray with um, some muffin cases in it. Nope, oh, well, we're gonna use oh. gonna use this, and we oh, are, okay. It's always a bit of the messy part, isn't it? Yeah. So once you've spoon mixed it into your muffin tray or fairy cake tray, um, which we've done, it's not the neatest, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, you put it into the oven, which should be um, sort of about 180 degrees uh, pre-warmed oven. So that is what we're going to do. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. I need my mittens. Yes, you do need your mittens. And obviously when your kids put the uh, fairy cakes into the oven, you have to help them because you don't want any burns to happen. Um, the fairy cakes into the oven for around about eight to ten minutes until they are nice and well cooked and a little bit crispy. And yep. while they do that, shall we open up the flake? Yeah, can I eat one? Um, can you eat one just now when we? Here we go. Because we're going to use these as a little nest, and our chocolate spread is going to be a little bit like the icing. Yeah. And then obviously we are going to decorate them with our mini eggs. I really want to make eggs. <laughs> Another tip with the eggs is that um, obviously my eldest son is fine with the mini eggs, but I have a two-year-old and they are a bit of a choking hazard. So to make some toddler-friendly um, Easter egg nests, we are going to replace them with some mini marshmallows. Okay, so they look like they're ready. They took about 10 minutes. Okay, so now that our little fairy cakes are all done and out of the oven, we can start to decorate them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make one that is suitable for older children yeah. and one that is suitable for little toddlers because you can probably hear my two-year-old in the garden um, 
who's riding his pickup truck. What you're going to do is just get um, hold on, some Nutella and spread it on the top so that's going to act as your icing. Okay. Quite a bit on because you want it to basically stick the flake. I'm going to open this part here. Okay. This part is so ideal. So once you've done that and you've broken up your flake bits, pieces, they are going to act as your nest. So do you want to get some? Yeah. I'm going to do this one. No, totally you go. Do you do it on this one. And you want to make a little nest. So you want to make a little hole. I'll, I'll eat a bit of this one. Make it smaller. <laughs> you want to make a little hole in the middle because that's where it's going to hold your eggs. Yeah. Nice try. That's okay. Okay, so they are all sticking. How old are eggs? So now you put your eggs on, and I'm going to put some of the marshmallows on. So do I put how many do I have? Well, you can put as many eggs as you want. Maybe two or three. I'll need like two or three. Okay. No. Yep. Put another one on. Three, and they're all the same color. And you can put a little chick on. Oh, well, the chick on too. So I'm going to do a little close up so you can see what we made. That was our little super easy Easter egg baking craft, and now I think we're gonna eat them. So thanks Thank for you. watching. Bye. Chocolate, chocolate. <laughs>